Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do something that I've actually been asked about a couple of times recently. And that's how to take a floating point raster, so one that has decimal points within its values, and convert that to an integer raster within ArcGIS Pro, so one that only has whole numbers, while also applying proper rounding. Um, and by proper rounding, I mean anything with values of 0.5 or lower will get rounded down to the next lowest value, and anything with values of 0.5 or above will get rounded up to the higher value. Because actually, that's not a straightforward thing to do within ArcGIS. We have a number of tools to help us convert floating point to integer rasters, including the int tool, um, the round down tool, and also the round up tool. But actually, none of those will apply rounding in the way we often think about it. And that can be a bit awkward, particularly if we need to um, take our output and put it into external software, modeling software, for example. And we want to make sure the cell values are the closest possible to the real value while also putting it into integer format because some external software requires that. Also, if we don't do that, some external software will actually convert it for us. And if that software happens to apply rounding in the standard way, and we then try to compare it with our original input within ArcGIS, we'll end up with all kinds of strange um, artifacts as a result of the difference between the original layer and the rounded layer that we've brought back into ArcGIS. Um, so it's worth noting briefly how these other tools operate. So the int tool, integer tool, uh, literally truncates every value. So if we had a value of 1.9, it would simply truncate that and round it down to 1, even though 1.9 is obviously closer to 2 than it is to 1. Uh, and more obviously, round down, rounds everything down. Um, so we get a very similar result to the int tool for positive values. But for anything negative, um, the int tool would truncate, for example, minus 2.3 to minus 2, whereas the round down tool would round it down to minus 3. And obviously, round up has the, the opposite effect. So how do we overcome this? There's actually quite an elegant solution. But we can't actually do it with any of the, within any of those tools themselves. So what we need to do is actually find the raster calculator. Um, it falls within a couple of toolboxes. I'm going to use the version in the Spatial Analyst toolbox. And what we can do is actually still use the int function, but apply it to our raster layer, and then simply add 0.5. And by doing that, anything that has a value of, or a decimal value of 0.5 or above, will get shifted up to the next number. So a value of 2.5 would become 3, a value of 2.6 would become 3.1, and then when we apply the int tool, it truncates those, and they simply get converted to 3. If we have a value of below 0.5, so if we had a value of 2.3, then we add 0.5, that becomes 2.8, and when the int tool truncates it, that simply becomes 2 and gets rounded down as it should. So it's a really simple, elegant solution to what, on the face of it, could be quite a frustrating problem. So if we create an output, I'm going to call this DTM int to show it's an integer layer. Simply run the raster calculator. And in a few seconds, we have our new layer. And we can see that the values are now integers rather than decimals. And actually, if we want to interrogate it a bit further, um, I can turn off these base layers, use the Explore tool to show value for visible layers, zoom in on a few pixels, and click to see what the values are. So here we had a value of 266.77. Um, and we can see that now using this equation, uh, that's been rounded up to 267 rather than down to 266, as it would have done if we'd simply used the int tool in its normal format. So there you go, a really simple, elegant solution to the problem of rounding issues within ArcGIS Pro. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and keep your eyes peeled for more videos. Thanks a lot.